was in that water just now. There's a flying fish out there. I don't know what's the, if that's what they call them now. These big fish with massive wings on them. They look like bats, but in the water, they don't you know, have like bat wings. <laughs> yeah. Water is nice. I like this beach. It's like a, it's a public private beach. <laughs> Public meaning that it's open to anyone, private mean who knows about it. And you would only know about it if you're introduced to it by someone from the surrounding community. Fortunately, fortunately for me, that's Airbnb. And so I have now a public private beach. I like it. I was in the water and I was thinking about I have this video of us going through Disney World Fast Pass for this ride Space Mountain. And the video is like intimidating because you can see us just go straight through. And there's tons of people waiting in the regular line. But I look at how the Fast Pass system has evolved into a reality <laughs> that I existed, which is. In the past, you would buy your fast pass entrance, and I think the markup on that was like 30 to 40 percent more you pay. And then by doing that, you get in the line that is like shorter than the regular line, like right, you get straight through. So instead of waiting an hour, you get through in you know one to five minutes because you paid extra. So I guess you know I, I took advantage of that of that, you know, but I figure. After a while, there will be so many people who are willing to take advantage of that because they realize that, man, you know, it's, it's more efficient to get through the park fast than waiting these long lines, unless you're trying to do family time, you know? Waiting in line is like family time, to talk and be together and all that stuff. Yeah, you can do that, but not for every ride, you know, all right? But anyways, that system got played because more people would just pay. So here's the new upgrade, man. And I'm sounding louder because it's exciting. <laughs> the new upgrade is you pay regular price for your ticket and then you have an app where you can schedule your ride ahead of time to be a fast pass. So the value of the fast pass goes to those who can properly manage time or have more time to work with. It went from being a value of money to a value of time. Time, <laughs> time to get the best experience. So if you wanna be in the fast pass lane, you can't pay for that, at least not directly. You can pay in other ways, you know, by, or be more efficient in life or whatever, you know, it just goes, it kind of just happens in the flow. It's not something you can plan. <laughs> it's not something you can plan. But if you have more time, you have a better experience and you can't pay for that. <laughs> you have to schedule your ride ahead of time. So we had scheduled our ride like, you know, two days ahead or maybe one day ahead. Went straight through. Didn't pay extra. In fact, you know, what am I gonna say? <laughs> Didn't pay anything that day. <laughs> yeah, right? It went straight through. Sweet. 